Congrats, you just got into med school. Here are a few things that I'd recommend you do in the summer before medical school. So the big question is, should you study before medical school? For the vast majority of people who've done undergrad degrees, bachelors, or even masters, or even PhDs in science, you've probably taken a lot of science classes, especially with the med school prereqs, as well as other classes in your major. So you probably have a breadth of knowledge in a lot of the basic foundational sciences that you need in medical school. If you are lacking in one of these areas, like let's say immunology or biochemistry or different areas like that, or you're really weak in one of those, in that case I would say maybe take like a class in that area. Uh, it could be like a, an online class or a more relatively relaxed workshop or a class in that field. However, I don't think you really need to go take a bunch of classes in all kinds of different subjects to try and pre-prepare for your first or second years of medical school. There's going to be a lot of information that you'll be taught, especially in the first uh, month or two that cover a lot of the foundational sciences. And having a background in this material helps. However, as I mentioned, most people will have that background in those subjects with a few different weak areas, but it really isn't a concern since uh, you will be able to handle that on your own when you get there. And uh, you could be using that time before medical school in a lot more productive ways in my opinion. So my answer to the question, should you study before medical school? I would say no, unless you do have a big weakness in a certain area and you want to prepare for that area since you're not going to be as prepared going in if you're really weak in a certain area. To try and cater your studying towards those weak areas, I'd recommend looking at your school's website. Maybe talking to current students about curriculum uh, and how it's set up in like the first and second years and figure out what classes will be taught to what extent. So if there's going to be like a one month block of immunology and you haven't taken immunology at all, maybe do a class in immunology versus like if there's some a minor subject or some subspecialty of a subject that you haven't learned that's going to be taught for like a day or two and that's not going to really translate much to maybe an exam or the step one then you don't really need to spend a whole like month or two doing a course to try and cover your bases and build up your weaknesses in that specific area for most people just relax you don't have to worry about studying before medical school Definitely don't look up first aid before medical school since one, that's like a review tool, first of all, so you're not going to get a lot out of it. And uh, two, I know some people who start doing that stuff, but you end up forgetting it before your step one board exam anyways. So in general, I recommend trying to spend your pre-med school summer trying to just kind of relax and enjoy yourself. If you can afford it, I'd highly recommend traveling. You're not going to have a lot of uh, extended periods of break time to travel and uh, you're probably not going to have a lot of money in medical school as it is anyways. So if you have the money, I recommend traveling. I know people who did like a Euro trip or did a like a part of Asia trip or South America trip or things like that before medical school and they really enjoyed it. And so that could be valuable to you if uh, you do have the resources and the time to do so. Even if you don't travel overseas, you can still travel like uh, pretty cheaply uh, doing like couch surfing or other things like that throughout the US or around the world even going to hostels and things so it, it's still an option if you don't have a lot of funds however you do need to in general spend a little bit more money traveling uh, especially if you're not if it's not locally compared to um, maybe just staying in or doing other activities the next big thing I'd recommend really trying to if you had any big hobbies that you're trying to get into try to get into those before medical school so you have maybe at least a baseline since often the biggest time commitment for getting into a hobby is like in the beginning when you're trying to learn all the fundamentals so if you really want to uh, learn cooking maybe take a couple cooking classes or workshops in the summer before medical school if you want to do like I don't know like archery or something or uh, which I do by the way uh, so if you do uh, shoot hit me up so if you want to learn pottery or photography or different things like that try to learn that before medical school starts since you're not going to have as much time in medical school and it's a lot easier to learn especially the fundamentals and spend a lot more time in those things before medical school and once you have like a baseline you can maybe try to work those into your free time slots in medical school and um, still enjoy that hobby so try to explore as many hobbies and passions of yours as you can before medical school Next, I recommend spending good quality time with your friends and family, maybe your relationships if you have one, or maybe locking down a relationship before medical school since you're going to have less time to explore those things in medical school. Oftentimes in medical school, you'll miss big events like weddings, uh, funerals even, and uh, all kinds of big events from casual get-togethers to major events. So I'd recommend spending as much time with the people that you care about and building those relationships. 
If you want to be productive and you know what specialty you're getting into, I'd recommend doing something like research, especially if that's a competitive specialty. If you're trying to do like orthopedic surgery, you need to get a lot of publications, so you might as well start in the summer before medical school to build those relationships with different researchers and also start getting those publications in so you can uh, build up the amount of publications you're getting in and also build up your expertise in the field. So maybe do things on uh, different uh, injuries like ACL tears or MCL tears or uh, collagen research or uh, other things like that. Same thing if you're doing like dermatology, you could uh, study like psoriasis or other things in dermatology and get a few publications started or get a few publications in progress even before medical school. Oftentimes if you're doing a big project it takes a long time to get your manuscript written out, get the experiments done and uh, get that submitted and reviewed and resubmitted and the whole process takes a really long time so oftentimes if you're doing a big project if you start in the summer before medical school you will be published actually uh, during your medical school period, which uh, which is great since it accounts for your medical school publications and activities. And another good thing is if you start a project with a PI or a group before medical school, you, you can often use them and uh, the researchers at that facility for other projects throughout your medical school experience and you maybe even after. If you're not sure what specialty you want to get into, I would recommend doing shadowing in your summer before medical school. So shadow as many different specialties as you can and uh, since you do have a lot of free time, you're able to go through like morning shifts, like normal or night shifts, or uh, even maybe do like a full call or something. You could have a lot of different options and a lot of flexibility since you have a lot more uh, leeway with your schedule and uh, you have the time and a lot more energy to uh, devote to exploring different career options in medicine. If you have big passion projects like volunteering, this could be a great time for you to invest in those and really build up the uh, things that either you just do before medical school and you kind of transition out of or things that you continue doing through medical school but a lot of things, especially they're novel like you're starting a nonprofit or things like that take a lot of time up front so that upfront huge bolus of time could be done during your summer before medical school and that could carry into medical school with more of like a relaxed kind of uh, leadership in which case you'd have a great thing to add to your resume and a great experience to have in medical school when you're applying for residencies for example or even just for personal satisfaction. Next, unless you're lucky and you have maybe like a six-figure job, in which case you might not be applying to medical school, you can also work in the summer before medical school. This gives you a time to think about something else besides medical school. And it's also a great way to have some extra pocket money. And this money could be used either to pay off a little bit of your school loans. However, most people won't be able to pay off all their school loans or have the money on hand to pay off all their loans before they're going to medical school. However, it's always nice to have extra money, especially in medical school when you're often, most people are taking loans and the time cash and so having that extra money to spend to your hobbies or hanging out with people uh, eating out or uh, different things like different resources that you want or uh, different maybe like trips that you want to plan during your limited time off can really uh, be beneficial in improving your overall quality of life during your medical school experience. So last thing, I'd highly, highly recommend that you try to get in as good of a shape as you can before medical school. Once you get into medical school, often you're limited on time. And this gets worse over the four years of medical school and especially on an intern year after medical school and residency and even going forward. So whatever your goals are, whatever kind of uh, physical fitness goals that you have in mind, try to achieve those and get to a reasonable level of fitness before medical school so that you can kind of, at the very least, maintain or even build up throughout your medical school career. So those are a few tips on what I'd recommend doing before medical school. Really, for most people, just try to relax, maybe make a little money on the side or um, engage in your hobbies or other kind of passions. Really try to relax and not do too much medical school or studying related activities before medical school unless you're really weak in a certain area. If you do start trying to study really intensely and do a lot of medical school related work before medical school, you'll often be burnt out, especially as the years pick up and you start studying for like step one in your second year and uh, you start getting the clinical rotations and things and you start having less and less time and money, you will probably start getting burnt out more and more. So if you can take the summer before medical school as a time to invest in yourself and your overall happiness, I think you'll start off medical school in a great position. Congrats again on getting into med school. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell down below. Uh, let me know down below in the comments as well if you'd like me to make a video on anything else. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take care and have a great summer.